What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, yeah. It's International Women's Day, and uh, <laughs> Captain Marvel is officially released to uh, the North American market, and we see what's going on. Uh, the audience is really shitting on it. You know, you have your shill critics that are afraid to um, criticize it. Well, I mean, you have some ones that are brave, but you have a lot of them that are, you know, afraid to be labeled uh, sexist or misogynist, even though some of them are female. Um they're afraid to to go against the grain and um (laughs) it's just it's just so funny the reason i'm doing this follow-up video well i mean i should simply because of what's going on me being a fan of the uh marvel universe and shit uh i should be doing it but i was kind of gonna let it go after the first video but as you can see on the screen i uh put up a uh little uh tirade by someone who decided to uh white knight for uh brie larson aka brie arson i call her um because she's burning down the mcu and uh this is a type of shit that that you get when you um you deal with a male feminist or you know these simp ass dudes that I've been telling you about for years. Uh <laughs> as you can see on here you know it starts off with your typical racism then ends up with you being a, a misogynist which we see on the grand scale with uh companies like Rotten Tomatoes, you can't be honest on that site. They these guys already started. Um, they have a, a little section known as um, what is it like? It's kind of like a hype section. You know what I mean? Like, do you want to see this movie before it drops? And you know, based on you know the um, trailers and what you know about the movie or characters or whatever, what you know so far, you can you can um say yeah i want to see it or no i'm not interested in seeing it and a lot of people due to brie larson's fucking mouth uh basically said nah you know what i'm not interested in seeing it so um it got so bad that they uh decided to nix that section and now that the movie's out and people went and saw it and they're leaving their comments dude (laughs) you had it, it went down to a score of last I checked, it was 31%, which is really bad. And um, they started shaving, uh, I think, about 50,000 comments just to shave the point of the um, percentage. So it went uh, last I checked, it went up to 51%, and it might be going higher because they're doing that. Now, I got to ask you something. I mean, you know, when you got fucking clowns like this that leave comments, that that are fucking you know just purely emotional and you got white knights like i was reading those reviews i mean (laughs) it's just so it's so uh what's the word so practiced and so you could tell that there's just fake oh yeah you know this is the greatest mcu movie ever and and they're not saying anything about it and and it's so funny because it's like there's more crediting things around brie larson who's carrying who's supposed to be carrying the movie they just say oh yeah uh samuel l jackson was great in the movie and uh great special effect they're not saying anything it's just the same generic shit Meanwhile, the people that are criticizing the movie, they're telling you exactly why they don't like the movie. Yes, it ranges from Brie Larson being this radical, racist, sexist, uh, feminist um, to her acting like a piece of wood in the movie. 
In fact, a piece of wood, would, uh, from what I understand, would have been better. She can't deliver lines. It, she's not. She doesn't embrace the character. It's like she's she's being forced to be there. Um, there's there's a myriad of reasons. Uh, you know, I listened to a few guys. I mean, I just spend money on this bullshit, and um, you know, I looked up the uh, what is it, the mid and post credit scenes that that's well enough for me and i found out how uh nick fury lost his eye that's just so stupid so stupid amongst other things i i, I heard about this movie i heard it does a disservice not only to the character the source character itself but or source material but it does a disservice to the mcu I, i'm not going to spoil it but just some of the things in there. Wow. And um, yes, of course, no surprise. There was a lot of the feminist propaganda pushed in it. So, I mean, with all this shit revolving around a fucking movie, something that's supposed to bring people together, you would think, yeah, listen, you know, all these simp ass niggas, these white knights that um, they're, they're so in their feelings because over a uh, over a fucking broad who w- if she was walking by she wouldn't spit on you, you, you i mean <laughs> it kills me in fact you know clowns like this that leave comments like this you have to remember you can't even compliment a bitch like brie larson because you forget what happened when uh she smiled at a a uh, tsa employee and the dude just acted like a regular fucking dude and said, hey, listen, um, could could I get your number? Could we talk? And she went and put the dude on blast on Twitter talking about, oh, this is the female experience. This is what I got to go through. Oh, God forbid a guy thought you were somewhat attractive or maybe you were interested. <laughs> and, and, oh, my God, it's so bad that a guy actually wanted to talk to you. Mind you. I guarantee if it was a dude you were interested in, it 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 wouldn't have been a problem. But again, you know, you have these dudes, these weak cuck soy boy dudes that they'll they'll justify it. They'll say, Yeah, she's right to be upset. Get the fuck out of here. Dudes like this, like I bet he's one of these guys that say, Oh yeah, the movie was so great and and and, and it and it's changed the world. Listen, man. <laughs> You do what you want to do with your money, but for 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 a, a dude to get mad, or for people to get mad, this is just a microcosm of what's going out on out there. And it's funny how people are talking about Nazism and all that stuff. You know, people that are conservative are, are Nazis, and Trump supporters are Nazis. Let me tell you something. What's more Nazi-ish? someone being honest with you or someone that uh, people that have to censor people rotten tomatoes that that they're doing nazi shit they're censoring people for giving a difference of opinion you know and all and to all you dudes that are like this fucking clown that i'm showing you on here this jason one dude let me tell you something you sitting here and um caping for bitches ain't gonna get you laid any fast <laughs> it's not gonna get you laid as a matter of fact women are women will not respect you i've told you about this all the shit where you agree with women just for the sake of agreeing with them and you can't criticize them it, it's not equality number one number two it, it, it reeks of of desperation so i just want you to think about that i'm happy that this movie's bombing I uh want y'all to go see Alita Battle Angel. That's a way, you know, that's a superior movie in the sense that Rosa Salazar knows how to market a movie. She doesn't try to alienate or insult her fans. I enjoyed that movie from beginning to end. Um, You know, compared to what I'm hearing about Captain Marvel, no, I don't want to see it. I don't care what anybody says. I will not pay to see that movie. If I, I mean, eventually I'll see it just to laugh at it. I'm not going to take it seriously. Um, what else do I got to say? Yeah, th- this idea that, you know, because 
it, the the movies being female fronted that's another thing that pisses me off with this whole feminism shit oh because a female is fronting the movie well i have to go see it if not you're misogynist that that's fucking stupid just embrace the character don't insult anybody don't put politics in the shit and we good i I don't understand why that's such a strange (laughs) look I, this brings me back because you know I, I love talking about music and everything. Um, I remember when uh, Ice T's OG album came out. I think it was a skit on the OG album. I'm not too sure, but I remember Ice T was talking about this because at the time, Body Count, his uh, rock group, came out, and at the time, um, rock was already more um, white dominated. You know, when it came down to that style of rock and at the time when um, Body Count came out, you know, it was an all black group and this and that. And Ice-T really enjoyed the music. And when he got up there, people, you know what he said? People just told him, don't worry about, don't worry about nothing else. Just get up there and perform. Don't worry about shit. And that, and that's the idea. Like, stop worrying about, you know, uh, well, um surface traits and uh, well we're all black and this and that it didn't matter they will embrace you if you're good that's why i love how people say like oh it's all misogyny and this and that meanwhile people love alita battle angel people love wonder woman and there's various other female characters that you can build upon so don't insult fans don't call no one uh misogynists or nazis or racist and you know and, and when you yourself are really projecting and guys don't be a cuck or a male feminist it it just it's just not a good <laughs> it's not a good look but that's it listen man um glad is bombing glad they have to resort to um protecting uh, Brie Larson, because again, you know, they, they're so for feminism and women being all powerful, yet you want to protect her. You want to sit here and fudge the numbers so she doesn't feel bad or because you're a feminist or, or, or far leftist or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Y'all are pathetic <laughs> at the end of the day. That's it. Glad it's bombing. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And that's it. Peace, bitches.